Okay. So, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Salesforce Start. Um, so, in the last video, we discussed about uh, Salesforce Manufacturing Cloud uh, uh, permission sets, right? So, once these permission sets are assigned to us, then uh, they, that users can work on the manufacturing cloud objects and all. Okay. So, today uh, we'll discuss about uh, uh, important objects in the manufacturing cloud uh, called sales agreement object. Okay. So, this sales agreement object uh, is we are going to use for the sales in the manufacturing cloud. Okay. So, there are like a mainly, um, I'll tell you what's the difference between old process and this new sales process without manufacturing cloud and sales cloud. Okay. For example, if you observe this screen, okay so here so normally uh, this is the process in the sales cloud first you can create the account then uh, create opportunity then uh, we can add the products to that opportunity right this is a normal sales uh, flow in case if you want to uh, look that the business is a new business and in case they want to purchase only one time then in that case you can go for the opportunity object Okay, that is a sales process. In case if your customer wants to buy product like a, a quarterly or a, like a recurring monthly, yearly, quarterly, so it is like a run that business. So in that case, what we can do is instead of going to account, opportunity, opportunity product, so for under that account, so we can use sales agreement object. So this object we can use for mainly a run that business. Okay, and same uh, here also we have a child object called sales agreement product object so here we can add the product related to the sales agreement and okay so based on the like a uh, uh, period like a start date and uh, end date how many days you want right so based on that automatically sales uh, manufacturing load will generate a sales agreement product schedule so, okay so if you want to work on this sales agreement object so first thing what we have to do is so we have to enable manufacturing cloud sales agreement settings okay so i will open my r first okay so here if i'll go to the setup so just type uh, manufacturing so you can see all these uh, or uh, objects related to the manufacturing cloud settings and all so we will go one by one settings so now our focus is mainly on the sales segment object just click on that object so we have to enable this option first okay once we enable these options we can see that some other settings also here okay so we'll go first option this is like a, in case if you want to add a, a dashboard uh, related to the sales agreement in the uh, record page so we can enable this option okay and this is mainly like a for renewal purpose. In case if your agreement is going to end in 60 days, right? Then you want to renewal your agreement. Then that days you can put. That is our option. We can put 60 days, 30 days based on the requirement. So I'll go with the 60 days. So that, so whenever our agreement is going to end, like before uh, uh, two months, so we can uh, click the renewal button. We can generate the renewal sales agreement. Okay. That is the option for this one. So this one, in case if we have any uh, uh, like a number of fields, like quantity and all, right? In case if you want to use more decimal places instead of two, then you can use this option. But normally we can use two and leave it as it is uh, two only. Okay. And this one is very important option, right? So normally, as I mentioned in the previous uh, video, right? So once you create a sales agreement, right? It will create a sales agreement a schedule, right? So there we can see uh, how many you planned quantity, monthly how many you planned, quarterly, like planned quantity, actual quantity. So some uh, metrics we can see there, all these fields like a planned quantity, actual quantity, sales price, all these fields are available in the, that agreement table, okay? So, so planned means uh, in the sales agreement uh, at the time of adding product, what are the like a quantity was specified, right? That is planned quantity. So actual quantity means once you create an order for that agreement, right? So for example, uh, 
customer wants to buy products for next 12 months okay so he purchased product like for uh, march right example if you take last month he purchased uh, october he purchased uh, he want to uh, purchase some uh, products in that case what we can do is we can now uh, we can create order for that november month right so in that case that quantity whatever we specified in the order that that will come nothing but the actual quantity so i'll show you a complete table okay once all this is so this is mainly important for to calculate actuals Okay, how you can calculate the actuals in the agreement table is so there are three options uh, normally we can calculate actuals based on the orders only okay that is uh, mainly for based on the order only we can calculate but how you can uh, create orders is either you can um, for example assume your order system is uh, in a different application right uh, that is that data you want to load in our sales force right in case if you want to calculate based on the external system right in that case, what you can do is we can use the manual using API upload, this option. Okay. If you want to calculate actual based on the external system, they want to load data into our system, right? In that case, you can go for the manual using API upload. In case if you want to calculate the actuals directly from the orders related to that sales agreement, then you can use this option. In case if you want to calculate the orders through contracts, we can choose this option. Okay. Three options. So this is for mainly for external system, in case they are loading data into Salesforce, then we can use this option. It will calculate uh, directly through orders, this option. And this option orders through contracts, two objects are involved here. Okay. So I'll show you how, uh, once I create sample agreement and order, then I'll show you how it will come in the actual quantity in the sales agreement. Okay. So this is again a mapping between the sales agreement, the product object and the product schedule object. So in case if you want to map both fields in the, the in the metrics, you can use this option. You can create new fields and you can add it here. Okay. So this is metric groups. So by default, uh, manufacturing load is uh, showing these fields in the metric uh, uh, in that agreement table, agreement product schedule table. In case if you want to remove, you can remove or you want to add, you can add or you want to create new metrics or groups also you can create. So timing, I can give, I can use this uh, one only. So once I create, we create a uh, sales agreement, uh, we'll create more metric groups and I'll show you differentiate difference between those uh, groups and all. Okay. So this is approval process. Okay. Normally, um, once you create sales agreement, right? So by default, it will be a draft status, right? So it will be dropped actually. How we have opportunity, there are different, different stages, right? So similarly, in the sales agreement also, we have different, different uh, stages. Draft, approved, activated, under review, right? So cancel, all those things. Uh, multiple state uh, stages are there. Okay. So normally, if you want to, uh, if you want to build some approval process for the sales agreement, then you can enable this option. In this case, what will happen is, so once you submit approval process, once they they are approved, then only it will uh, approve. Otherwise, it will not not approve automatically. If you if you disable this option, so what will happen is you can directly uh, approve yourself uh, on the sales agreement object. Directly we can approve ourselves. So then we can activate the sales agreement automatically based on the date of the start date of the agreement. So this is to send email notifications for the contacts to that agreement status and all. Okay. So this is all the settings uh, we can enable here. Okay. So what we can do is in the next video, we'll create sample uh, sales agreement. Then um, uh, we'll, we'll see all these uh, options, how it is uh, connected to that document object and table object and all. Okay. Okay. Thanks for uh, watching this video. For more videos, you can just subscribe this channel for latest videos and all. Okay. Thank you.